What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. This is it guys, you've been waiting for it. We are going full blown in depth on the Game Case. The portable arcade, five terabyte hyperspin edition, laptop based system, the Game Case, the portable arcade. So yes, I'm getting a lot of requests, a lot of concerns, a lot of messages about Hyperspin. We haven't spoken about Hyperspin a lot on my channel, but I've been doing Hyperspin builds for a while now. Not that many, not as much as the retro pies and all that, but Hyperspin is a whole different animal, a whole different beast. And get ready, we're gonna do a lot of in-depth reviews, a lot of looks at what's the difference and why a PC-based system, number one, is more expensive, more high-end, and why can it do more games than anything else, really? Right now, we're gonna take this video real quick. We're gonna open up the game case. This is Sims Arcade. Been working on it for about a month now. It's officially time to be shipped out, but I'm taking his exact arcade, and we're gonna make it in a lot of videos. Tutorials, number one, looking at everything, comparing it to a RetroPie build. I mean, this right here is gonna be a big series. Um, it's about time. I gotta update it. The game case, the portable arcade, the laptop has been upgraded to five terabytes. This thing is jam packed. I packed it so much. As much as I could put into it, it could run mostly everything in it. So let's check it out. Let's get a closer look and let's open it up. Off the bat, people keep asking me, Vic, what's the measurement on this case? This is about a 25 inches across, 16 inches deep. I would say once you have everything, I mean, I'll take a scale to it, but I would probably say it's about maybe 30 pounds. Again, it is a briefcase. There is an arcade. Everything right now is in this. This is being shipped to Sims just like this. Inside this box, we got the two Xbox 360 controllers. We have the laptop. We have the charging cord. We have the arcade, and we have the, the dongle for the Xbox 360 uh, controllers. This is it. Like You will receive this in the mail just like this. I'm gonna put the camera down. Let's get closer and unbox it. All right guys, so you guys don't like selfie mode on this, so I put it up there. Let's unbox this. Let's open up the actual case itself. Again, everything is inside this case. There is a top, there is a bottom. You do have your four legs here. You sit the case down. It is pretty tight, not gonna lie. So you do have to add pressure to the top of the case to unlatch and unlatch. And there we have it. I'm gonna bring you closer. <laughs> this is awesome. Off the bat laptop two xbox 360 controllers my charging is right here the actual charging brick for the laptop and we have the external four terabyte hard drive this is it again in closed state yes it does add a little stress to the joysticks um in reality i could bring these a little bit closer but i didn't want you know uncomfortable wrist action on this so let's load it up so while I unbox it, I'm going to tell you guys, like, you know, we're really making this series to show people the difference between a hyperspin build, a RetroPie build, and a PCB jam board based system like a Pandora's box. So there's going to be a lot of comparing. But for right now on this one, let's just unbox it. Let's just at least get the thing open with for Sims, for him to watch it, just so you could see what you could do and what's inside the box. So once you do get it, there's a couple things you could do. I normally suggest that you should probably pull out the 360 controllers should pull these out and just leave these on the side because now you could actually push the laptop back more and you'll have more of a tilt on the screen if you do that. So I do suggest that off the bat. Again, inside the pack here, we do have our dongle and underneath it, we have our charging brick for the laptop. And here you do have your two USB wires one wire does go to the leds and one wire does go to the zinmo six feet of wire so you could literally put this thing down put the laptop over there and you could still play it if you want to connect it to a big screen you can still play it and all that so again we have our two usb wires these are stapled in to the cat the the control panel so you can't pull this out you can pull this as much as you want it will not come out so these are stapled in again lastly i'm just pulling everything out just so you can see it Last thing you have your external four terabyte hard drive. I mean, this right here literally is holding all of our PS2 games, our Nintendo 3DS, Wii games, the Wii U, a couple of PC games like Grand Theft Auto's inside of this. This is nuts, this is crazy. The last little bit of details I have to do for Sims Arcade is I do have to put the inserts in. That's really the last thing to do. But again, right now we're just unboxing. We're gonna check everything out real quick. 
So I'm still testing out like the padding. These things do come with padding. So I'm not sure if I do like the egg crate kind of padding. Um, with this kind of padding, it does kind of restrict the laptop to tilt back more. Um, the other one that I was, I'm thinking about putting is this one here, which is the flat back. It will still protect everything. And now we could actually have a little bit more of a screen dip. I could definitely pull the screen out like down more. So I'm not too sure I do like the egg crate look of it, but also the flat is pretty cool. Um, so right now, again, we're gonna just get ready. We're gonna basically, you know, pretend that we're playing with this thing. What do we do first? So off the bat, number one, we are, once you get this, you will see this kind of coiled up nice and neat. So there's not too much room on it. There is one for the Zinmo, which is the longest USB wire. And there is one for the LEDs that is the shorter end of the wire. So on the right side of the laptop, there are two USB ports, one for the Zinmo and one for the LED. You don't have to put this in beforehand. So either way, I'm just doing it now. We're gonna lift up the laptop and I'm gonna try to do no cuts on this guy. So we're gonna actually boot up the laptop and all that. As you can see, LED buttons turn on using the laptop actual power. Again, this right now is my LED. So you could at least see that. We do have the Zinmo plugged in right now. So it is using the arcade sticks right now. Here's the one thing about a hyperspin build and everything. It is a computer. It is a computer based system. So with that being said, you know, computers are never like, you know, they're not hundred percent. There's no such thing as a perfect hyperspin build. It's impossible. That's why you always need a keyboard and a mouse handy because hyperspin, sometimes it glitches out. I'm going to be honest, hyperspin will do its thing. But you know, unless you have a keyboard and a mouse handy, you kind of are stuck. You're like a sitting duck. So again, it is a PC based system. I do always try to urge you to try to like, if you're going to play with it, if you're going to keep it at the house, I do try to tell you to do keep the, the laptop plugged in, let it charge. This way, in all honesty, when you do have direct power, your laptop is a little bit faster. It's not really relying on the actual laptop battery to operate. If you do, if you do have the chance to plug it in, plug it in. I just want to make sure this is still running. Yes. So we're going to do like a whole screen grab later on, but basically right now our desktop loaded up, we're all here. And basically there's just one, there's a couple of icons on the screen, which we'll go into another episode. But basically all we got to do is at the bottom, we have hyperspin or we have the hyperspin shortcut. I always like to press enter on the keyboard. Make sure you push enter on the keyboard. That's way you know, you definitely press the button. And again, it takes a second. It's going to do its whole little thing. It's got a little intro video. Going to boost up our sound. And again, I didn't count how many games yet on this. That's how I'm just too excited. So this is it. Hyperspin is loaded using player one joysticks to navigate the screens. Let's hang out. Let's do a couple of things. Again, we are going to do a screen grab kind of thing just to show you differences. Just to show you differences on the system. I'm not going to do any cuts on this. This is going to go straight through just so you can see how it works. Okay. So, Biggest thing I always like to do, Street Fighter, you know how we do it. We go into the arcade classics. You can either press the green button or we could press button one. Basically the green button does say go or enter. I already have Street Fighter loaded up. This menu screen is a little bit different than Hyperspin. It doesn't tell me how many games there are, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's about 2000 arcade games. Difference real quick as far as RetroPie. This one right here will play more intense graphic games such as NFL Blitz. Um, we got Cruising World on this. You got driving games on this. This thing is nuts. This is this is insane. Okay, real quick, let's just load up. We're gonna load up Street Fighter. Biggest thing I stress is that you do one button, only one press. Just press the button one time, and it should load. See, you have to press the button one time. I got a little scared there. Press it one time and one time only. It will boot up. This is using MAM. Uh, um, I think it's like 2012, something like that. Basics right now, we're gonna boost up the sound a little bit. Again, using the laptop screen, this is portable. This is this is it, okay? We got coins, coin, we're gonna start, we gotta start. Oh, I pressed the start button. <laughs> I didn't press the player to start. Now we got player two starting inside of it. 
Let's get Ryu loaded up. It's just amazing, guys. You don't, again, as you saw, the lid closed. We have the ball top still intact. This is ready to go. Again, joysticks work perfectly fine. Up, down, left, right. Hadoukens all day. Hadoukens all day. This one right here, again, basically hyperspin is set to escape. You have to press the escape key to exit out, but we do have the red button. We're back. That is it. So if you can imagine, like, if we put this inside of a bar top, I mean, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same 20 button configuration. It's just sometimes, like you just saw, you literally saw my face. The big thing I urge you is you only press the button one time. Just push the button one time. As you can see, if you leave it alone, it kind of just randomizes the game real quick on its own. Easy stuff, right? We're done playing MAM arcades. Let's play Super Nintendo. Um, I'm gonna be doing a list. I think we're at 56 systems, which is a, it's a ton of systems. It's ridiculous. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. That was my fault. As you can see right now, I forgot to put the four terabyte drive in. So the hyperspin will work. There are games basically inside the laptop itself. It's one terabyte of games inside the laptop itself. I forgot to plug in the, <laughs> I forgot to plug in the most important thing, which is the hard drive. Um, it is a good idea to plug in the hard drive before you start hyperspin. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna exit out. Um, but actually before we do that, cause if you think about it, if you think about it, the cool thing about these things is like, you know, I'm gonna show you why I love this exact build. You don't need the suitcase. You literally don't need a suitcase. If you were gonna go out on vacation, which I've done this on the airport, all you need is the laptop and your 360 controllers. So for example, all the arcade works off of the laptop hard drive. So all the games are stored on the laptop hard drives for arcade. If you did try to boot up, let's say like the Wii, it won't, it, it won't boot up. As you can see, it won't let me do it because it's looking for the hard drive, it's not there. So the system will still work without the external hard drive, but we do want the external hard drive. So we're gonna exit out real quick. We're gonna exit our hyperspin build. And basically now, we're just gonna plug it in. I know we like to put it over there. It doesn't have to be there. It should really be there. That's why we have the spot there. But basically, we're just gonna plug it in. And I'm gonna leave this kind of on the laptop. In reality, you could pull the laptop over to the left and put it here, but I kind of put my USBs here. It doesn't matter what USB you put it in. The best thing is that once you do plug it in, you will see Windows notify it. There you go, Windows does notice the drive. Then I suggest that you do load up Hyperspin. Again, it's something you gotta learn. I should really have the drive here, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm doing no cuts on this. I wish I was doing this live, I should be doing this live. Again, Hyperspin boots up. Now, with the Wii, I have my games. You literally see it right there. So, the big thing about Hyperspin and, you know, this right here is running five terabytes. It's five terabytes of games. Um, I, I wrote it in another comment. Would you rather have a bunch of artwork and videos or would you rather have games? I should re-say that. Would you rather have artwork and videos and less games or no artwork, no videos, and more games. So obviously people want to do more games because Hyperspin is there for the looks of it, but you're not there all day. So as you can see right now with the Wii, the Wii, there's no, there's no real artwork. There's no videos playing in the background. I do have a couple of logos for the games, but other than that, there's really not much else to it. Um, so again, I always say, do you want more games or do you want more images? Sorry guys, we're back, we're back, we're back. I just got called. So again, basically real quick, this is amazing. Let's load up a Wii game. This is the best part of this. Let's do it. Super Mario Brothers Wii. Again, the biggest thing I stress is you just press the button once. Press it once. You can either press the green button or the first button. So real quick with the Wii, as you can see right now, I'm gonna probably zoom in on like Premiere. This right now has a loading bar. It is loading the game. There's a couple of different, different systems use different games. Like for example, like the Wii used the CD. Um, the N64 had a cartridge. So because there's an actual CD, to save space, the CD ROMs, the ROMs, the actual disc itself, are zipped. So right now, Hyperspin is basically unzipping it in the background. So the best thing is yes, you do have to wait a little bit, especially with a CD-based game. This really does it for like the PS2, it will do this screen. It takes, it takes like one or two minutes, but the big thing is just let it rock, let it do its thing, but in the end, it's just amazing. We're literally playing Nintendo Wii. We're do, we're, that's another thing that people are shocked. 
Um, actually, with the Wii, I actually have this set up for the Xbox 360 controller. That's another thing that we're going to talk about in the future. I should have done that. That was my mistake again. I'm just too excited. But really, the Wii might not work right now because I actually have it set for the Xbox 360 controllers. Um, I always say, and I'm going to make videos on it, when you do use this, you don't want to plug in the Zinmo and the Xbox 360 dongle. You don't want to do them together. It will confuse the computer itself. So in reality right now, this might load. This may or may not work. I'm actually not too sure. But just to show you real quick that it will boot up. Like it, it <laughs> it's looking for a Wiimote. That's like the coolest thing. These are set, these will emulate the Wiimote. Um, it's the Wii is a, a difficult thing. Basically, again, uh, it will work on an Xbox 360 controller. We have our regular D-pad, and this right here basically is the Wii mode. The right stick is our is our Wii mode. Again, as of right now, I don't think I'm not too sure. No, my arcade stick will not work with the Wii. This is why, again, we do need um, the Xbox 360 controllers plugged in. Will it? No, it won't. It won't. So right now we're stuck because again, my Xbox 360 controllers are not plugged in. This specific emulator is looking for the Xbox 360 controller, but it's all right. Like I said, we gotta make some videos. I'll show you guys, but basically we're just gonna exit out. Now we're back. Let's do some arcade action really. Again, we're back into the menu. Give it a, you know, it takes a second or two because again, it's just loading up so many things. Some videos don't have actual video backgrounds to them. The one real quick, let me show you which I personally go crazy for. And this is why I love my hyper spin builds is that we do have pinball on this. Again, you can do button one or the green button. Uh, I was playing the Simpsons party, I believe. I'm not too sure if it was visual pinball or future pinball. Again, I'm trying not to do any cuts on this guys because I want to show you some real stuff, real action on how this works. Um, it should be the Simpsons pinball party. So that's the letter T. Let's see, is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's under visual pinball. We're gonna do a whole thing about pinball. So like I said, if this is just for us just to have fun, just to show you guys the excitement that I have on this. Um, basically, if I wanted to skip a letter, I'll show you the shortcuts to it, but I do have the Simpsons pinball party. We're gonna press the button one time and one time only, that is it. That's all you wanna do is just press it one time and I promise you it will load. This is where we're gonna see stuff again that we're gonna talk and look at. Um, See, like I said, I get nervous. I get nervous too, I understand. Some people are like, why isn't this starting? You have to just press it one time. I guarantee you it will work. We basically right now have old school, actual pinball. This is the Simpsons pinball game. Um, again, I'm gonna describe a lot of things. This is just, I'm just rambling right now, but I'm just so excited. Just right now, like I have flipper buttons going on right here. We got the DMD going on right here. This is nuts, it's nuts. I love it, I love it so much, I have no idea. Again, flipper buttons going on. I got my plunger right there. And again, you will get like an, a manual, I will, damn. I will give you like a whole thing. Also know about pinball as far as tilt. Some people are like, Vic, what's about the nudge? The nudge is actually set to your joystick, so check this out. If I nudge, it will actually tilt. I tilt it, there you go. So I'm using the joystick as my left and a right tilt. This is just insane. Again, once you're bored, Vic, I'm done. You hit the red button, that's it. You come back to this. Let's go into another system. This is, this is nuts, I mean, I'm telling you. This right now, I'm so happy because in all honesty, you know, hyperspin and a PC-based system, they're great to have. It's a beautiful thing, it's gorgeous to have. Um, it's just no one, none of them is, is perfect. They're never perfect, it's, it's never perfect you will always ca encounter some hiccups um, as far as like sometimes a, the actual emulator will load behind hyperspin so hyperspin just freezes again there's, there's a lot of things that you have to keep in mind but right now we're just literally hanging out right now loaded up our game case and I'm just I'm just excited guys this is amazing um, again I've been working on this drive for years like five years at least it's just <laughs> <laughs> like this is insane <laughs> come on there you go 
Again, we're playing Super Nintendo. I messed up. On our arcade joysticks. And again, uh, I'm just gonna double check the settings, but I do have our load and save states. There it is. I just loaded a previous game. Oh, I completed that land. That's why I'm like, what's happening? So I did load a previous game before. Again, we could save this state right here. I could reload it just like RetroPie. I'm bored, I'm tired. Exit out, we're back into the menu. And the biggest thing again, guys, this is a low end laptop. We're talking an i3. I believe this has six gigs of RAM, one terabyte internal hard drive. So you don't need a beefy system, but I don't want to contradict myself. Some games such as like high end PC games like Street Fighter V, it will play this, but on low settings. So again, I don't want to ramble too much. I'm pretty sure this video is already going overboard, but I'm just so excited. I'm so glad this is it. The next series of videos that you're going to see, we are strictly looking at the hyperspin build. That is it. We have to do everything. We're going to do instructions. We're going to do what happens with this. Again, hyperspin is a different animal. It's, it's a tougher animal, but you know, it's just amazing. I'm not going to say bye just yet. We're going to swap over and I'm going to basically bring the Xbox 360 controllers into play now. So again, guys, I'm just I'm just making this video. Like, we're I have so much to talk about about this game, this system. There's there's so much. So again, real quick, um, you have two options as far as your controllers. You could use the arcade sticks, or you could use the Xbox 360 controllers. Somebody mentioned to me, Vic, why don't you use an actual PC? Like, why not use an actual PC? I'm gonna make a video, and just real quick to give you an idea. I love the laptop because literally, if I'm going somewhere, if I'm going to Florida. All I need is my battery charger and all I need is my Xbox 360 controllers because this is what takes so long and this is why I test everything. Every game, the arcade, the SNES works with the arcade buttons and it works with the Xbox 360 controllers. So that's why it's portable. You could literally take the laptop. You don't have to bring the arcade sticks with you. It doesn't work that way. You could just bring your Xbox 360 controllers and that's it. This is set. It's, it's amazing. Basically right now we're gonna load up Xbox and we're gonna do, basically we're gonna try like the Wii again. I'm gonna load up a Wii game or actually I'm gonna do an, an, uh, a Nintendo game to game. So again, I'm gonna take out my Zinmo. You don't really want both connected at the same time because um, this uses a, a system called joy to key um, It kind of spazzes out. So basically I have my Zinmo disconnected. The Zinmo no longer is there. I basically take my dongle for the Xbox 360 controllers and we plug it in. The computer will make a little like beep beep noise, like a USB detected. And now we're connected. Now we're gonna reload Hyperspin. And again, the way I have this set up is that you will be able to navigate the menus and the windows with the Xbox 360 controller. Right now, this is, this is live right now, we're doing this. I'm gonna do it, we're gonna do a GameCube game. Let's load up old school, The Simpsons hit and run. Like we have to load that up real quick. So I'm able to switch out my letters. Elemental yeah, P, Q, R, S, I think it's, there we go. The Simpsons hit and run. One time and one time only, that is it. This again, another example. The GameCube was a CD. It was a little, it was a little CD. It's a CD-based game. Just got somebody that sent me their arcade. It's a CD-based game, so right now it is unzipping the CD. Again, guys, your retro pies, yeah, they'll play everything, you know, the classics. You will not find Nintendo GameCube. You won't find PS2. You won't find the Wii. You won't find the Wii U. You won't find the and Nintendo 3DS. You won't. You just can't find it on that. You do need a hyperspin PC based system. Again, guys, somebody messaged me. I was like, they love how like exciting I am, how excited I am, because in all honesty, it's just awesome to see what like five, I'm not BSing you guys. Hyperspin is an animal and you need to tame the animal. It's a very difficult animal to tame. I mean, it's tough. It is a tough system. I've, I'm not gonna say I'm the master of it, but I still get confused sometimes with hyperspin. So it is a very tough thing to do again. Just real quick, admiring the game case. 
It's just so great. I kind of have the, I just pulled all the wiring out. Really, it's supposed to be a little bit neat, neater. It's supposed to look a little bit nicer, but again, I got to do this for the gram. We are loading up a bunch of game case arcades video we're recording right now, going out to YouTube. We're seeing this live. We're going to load up some Simpsons hit and run. We are loading. Again, it's just, it's just an awesome feeling, guys. Again, I'm, I'm trying to do no cuts on this and minimal cuts just to show you how the system works. The biggest thing that some people are going to tell me is that, Vic, it's taking too long to load. Uh, it's a it's a low-grade laptop. Deal with it. Like, you have to deal with it. You have to get used to it. But real quick, just, just admire this. This is the best part. This is awesome. Again, we're literally going to load up this Simpsons hit and run. <laughs> it's just exciting stuff. Again, I do have these set up for two players. I didn't go all out with the four-player on this like we didn't do four player 360 games on this to be honest look at this again it's all using this xbox 360 controller right now we are playing a nintendo gamecube game right now still loading press start checking the memory cards look at this this is amazing <laughs> if you haven't played simpsons hit and run oh you have to this is this is grand theft auto for the simpsons Again, I can't games. skip this. This is just this one how it is. To anybody. Again, just I'm gonna end this not now, but I'm gonna end this after a little bit of gameplay. Stay tuned, guys. A lot of videos coming your way. We're gonna be talking about pinball. It's really meant for like people that buy the system just to help and guide you. Again, the PC-based systems are more expensive. They are a bigger. The, I always say like, Jamma boards are like like easy level. Your retro pies are pro, and then your hyper spin is like expert. In reality, yes, we try to set these up so it's easy for you, the customer, like to just play with it. But in all honesty, you will get a couple of hiccups. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. There's always a couple of hiccups. Sometimes, again, the, the emulator runs behind the system. You know, it happens, that happens. Check this out real quick. We're talking to Marge. I mean, look, we're literally playing full screen Nintendo GameCube Simpsons hit and run. And again, all the all the buttons work on this. Let's go. Let's hop. Look at this. I mean, if this doesn't blow your mind. <laughs> this is it. The big thing again that you have to remember. Systems like the GameCube, systems like the PS2, the, the you know the the systems that need more than six buttons, you need a controller. So again, same thing with the Retro Pies. You know you can't play N64 on the arcade sticks. Even if you do eight button configurations, you know how annoying that is. That's just annoying. Games like this, look, I'm playing with the GameCube. You do need an Xbox 360 controller, or you could get maybe a PS4 controller. Um, I am going to do my research to see if Xbox One controllers work without the dongle. But as of right now, all the systems that I've built, it's usually been the Xbox 360 controller with the dongle. I mean, again, guys, look at this. We're literally playing a Nintendo GameCube game, a classic game not, nonetheless. Um, again, once you're bored, you hit, actually, let me see. I think I have to configure the... <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to make sure. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I remember the, the so I remember just now I, I had a I had a brain fart just now. I was pressing the red button just now to exit the emulator, but I just remembered that the Zimmo was disconnected. So you do need to use the keyboard escape key to make it work. So keep that in mind. I just had a brain fart. Um, but basically, real quick, just to show you what you do once you're bored with the game. Again, now we're using a keyboard. Now I could use the the Xbox 360 control it to navigate so I could actually go back once it loads up you know again it's loading a bunch of games so it's loading all the artwork too on that but basically the L3 button will let me exit once you are done playing you go to start you go to shut down and that is it I could set up hyperspin to shut down the computer once you exit at a hyperspin but I know for a fact that sometimes the hiccups that you get you accidentally exit at a hyperspin and then all of a sudden you turn off the, the, the system and it's annoying. I don't do that anymore. But real quick guys, I know I said it's a quick video, but I mean, let's do it. We're gonna make a bunch of videos before this goes out. I'm so excited. This is it guys, the Game Case Arcade, the five terabyte edition Game Case Arcade. Now it's off.
<laughs> guys, I'll see you soon. You're gonna see a lot of videos coming up, guys. I promise you.